What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Man of Medan. I'm pretty sure that is the correct pronunciation of it. Don't at me. I had to go through that horrific jump scare of that barracuda, whatever the hell kind of fish that was, and now we're back in the boat. So, now we're going to explore what other kinds of horrors are down here. What other kinds of jump scares possibly await me, and all of that yeah. stuff. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, my my bad. I said boat. It's a plane. The B twenty nine. My bad. Oh, Julia. Oh boy. Don't touch anything else, please. I think things are already about to get uh. Something. Oh, I already looked at this. I think things are going to get a little bit real here in a second. That rumbling was likely things to come. <sighs> Excuse me. I meant to go back this way. I wonder if it's about to be time for that shark to show. Ooh, Check what's this? They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Wow. That is interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's missing see lifeboat. What else we can find. Yeah, so it sounds like somebody must have got away. He's holding something. Ah! So, I'm just kind of in exploration mode right now. I don't think there was anything else for me to see more in here. No, there's no there's literally nothing more in here. Unless I go this way. Can I go this way? No? Okay. Well, I guess we're going back out then. Ow, the light. <laughs> <clears throat> Missing lifeboat. Alright. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in this long stretch of hallway. I hope I'm not missing anything like back there, because he's still hanging back there for some reason. And then, there's what's in there. So I'm gonna go out here, and if nothing happens, I guess that just means I missed something. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's because that, uh, that boat ran into it, right? Hey, p paper, paper, get the paper! <laughs> That damn shark! Oh god, Alex! That damn shark! We got the bang stick! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> if you're sure. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. I, uh. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. What? Had something to raise with me? Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Ha! <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. No, for real, what's going on? Seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Well, yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just Sorry about that. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Come on, we've really got to get up top. Relationship updated, I'm going to look at that. Anxious. Excited. Cunning. Generous. Okay. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. <laughs> Y'all seriously didn't notice that when it was right above your heads? You seriously didn't notice that? Hey, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Heck yeah, you- Oh, jeez. Oh, what the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. 
Nah, we have to decompress. Fuck Conrad. Decompress, right. I saw that, uh, that picture on the boat, and I said it, didn't I? Didn't I say that that was because she might not have decompressed right? Nah. Oh God, nah. taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more <clears throat> seconds. Nah. Okay, now. Go, go. I just hope my brother's all right. Hey, what the hell is going on? See? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. See, it would have been for nothing. He's just firing up the grill. It would have been for nothing. And my girl, my oh, girl would have been nothing. hurt. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What's up with that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came <coughs> and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? <laughs> uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. Yep. That's just fucking perfect. Just chill. It's all right. It's all good, man. Oh, hey. My dapper gentleman friend. <clears throat> well, nobody died. I did good for starters, right? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. A dumb fellow. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Dumb. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So far, at least. So far? Let me reassure you. Special feature you unlocked. Them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Ooh, okay. You're doing well. Yay! I did good. Nobody died. Julia could have... But I understand that decompression is very, very important, and I don't even go in the water. See what I tell y'all? I knew that that's what it was. Thinking brain. How was his plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. <clears throat> Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Wow. Uh -huh. Hey. I thought it was pretty intense. <coughs> was a shark is pretty get intense. Some more beers after he helped Fliss. Maybe he decided, "Hey, I'll drink some," and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us, and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh? I left it below deck. If you want to check it out. But seriously, bro, what'd you want to say? Cheery. Serious. Now let's be serious about Alex, it. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. Oh, bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Relaxed. Hesitant. Uh, well, yeah? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, <laughs> like, our future. Oh. You know? What's next? Okay. Happy future, wondering the same. Let's be optimistic. I happy future. We've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. Hell you know, yeah. You're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Aw, uh, I love you. I love you, Alex. Aw, uh, let's... Let's bring about you the happy couple. I'll go get him. <laughs> Why don't you just chill out here? Why don't we just bring about the happy couple? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's go get him. Sure. 
Are Conrad and Fliss doing the spank diddly? Is, uh, you know, where the magic happens. What kind of magic we talking about here? Give it a rest. <laughs> Just give it a rest, give it bro. Home. Give it a rest already. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Nah, you was just trying to get some of that spank diddly. That's what you were doing. You ain't slick. If you want to be slick, go swimming. That'll make you real slick. All right, now that everybody's here, <laughs> let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Uh, you seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Waterproof. I Guess let's look at the camera. Uh huh, the boat. Or a plane. My bad. <laughs> I keep calling it a boat. Air rescue service. Conwyn Island. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Did we get a shot of that freaking fish as it was coming out? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking that it would have been interesting to see, like, that quick camera shot. I'm going to go find Julia. Something is really bothering him. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Something is really distracting my boy. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Uh-oh. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Wait, what was that? Did I just miss a really fast, quick time event? Or was I imagining that? One beer, you get a beer, you get a <laughs> beer. No resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? Oh, snap. What do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not Wait a minute. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Okay, yeah, I think I kind of I kind of feel where she's coming from now. You're right. We should have Kind of like phone. disturbing a, an Indian burial ground kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know you. I think that plane was going to that ship. To plane in the first place. It's bad luck. Yeah. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but that... every single thing you bring back has an essence. Yep, bad like juju. You invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. No, nope. I never thought about it like I, that. I, I never think about much of anything. Well, I kind of feel her right now. Stories, They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. I'm it's curious. Kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. 
One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Conrad, shut up. Yeah, shut up. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Damn. So gross, you shouldn't embellish the facts. Nah. Facts are there for a reason. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. Huh. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, so ah, hey, oh, super twist. Whoa! Wait a minute. Nice one, Squire. <laughs> wow. Yeah, cool story, bro. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Nah, that lightning strike. Okay. You've that lightning you've strike kind of helped out. <laughs> No, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? Beer. In the oh, dumbass yeah, code book for boat navigations. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Oh, Conrad, you are such an idiot. <laughs> But that was a that was a an interesting story. I do not know how people can sleep on their sides. I sleep on my side and it's like my whole arm is about to numb its way off. Whoa! We're being assaulted by death eaters. Daggummit. Oh my god! Oh, wait a minute. The, the, um, the first picture I saw in that room that showed, uh, the little brother being alone. Whoa! <laughs> I almost missed that! I mean, I care about Conrad, but I wasn't just going to let the boy go down without a fight. All I got to say is, these guys pulled the ultimate stealth mission onto this boat. Yeah, Conrad, you dumbass. I should have let you get stabbed. Let's ungag him. Yeah, because I don't see the little brother in here. Ah. 
Ungag. And I gotta make sure that I move relatively fast. Yeah, now everybody's on gag now. I think all of my decisions are about to start playing a part now. Flexibility comes in handy. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Sorry. They were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. Nah, I think they might be looking for that gold now. <clears throat> Untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. Oh, shit. That's no good. Come on. Oh boy. Nope! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Conrad. Don't even. I gotta be smart with my decisions right now. What do you want? What do you fuckers want? Oh boy. Slow down. Easy. Don't say anything. Woo! Yeah, I must say, don't give him a reason. Because that knife was close. Do not give him a reason. Be on your best behavior, little man. What happened to your face? Say nothing. Oh man, the pressure is on. <laughs> oh, Woo! Yeah, they messed him up. That don't matter. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. That's baby girl. And where? I uh, say, where is my brother? No, I hope he's okay. No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. 
Getting everybody free with enough people still alive is the best bet. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Wait, I see the, uh, I see the, the guy who was in the beginning. Hey. I saw him in the reflection. What did he do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. Trying to get money. How much money they have. They might not know about that gold, but they're trying to get money because Conrad, being an idiot, led them on to the fact that they have a lot of money. We just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Damn, dude. Eight miles away. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. Your boy's got knowledge. Him here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. With the main guy here, and he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Boy, put some clothes on. Those fuckers need to pay. I can get on the boat. Oh, uh, oh no. Fuck it. Don't say anything. What do you think? Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. Let's Shawshank uh, this shit. Here, I'll climb out this window, take a look around. Just scope it out. You guys distract them so they don't see me sneaking. Okay, let's do it. Am I gonna have to play as stealthy Ninja Conrad? I was trying to wait for the thunder. I was trying to wait for the thunder. I thought I hit it with enough time. Oh boy. No, fuck it. Grab the knife. Drop it, Buster. You only have one eye. Can you shoot out of that one eye? I got this. Let me handle it. Well, it just became a double hostage situation. I think had he escaped... It might have been the situation boy. like it was in the Just in the, the picture. This kid's trying to kill me also. Escape. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Alright, I guess we're doing stuff now. We're doing stuff now. Yep. That's what I saw on the uh, on the picture. This is the moment I saw right here. Fuck. Woo! Uh, Can't catch him with this old junker. junker. Bring them downstairs. I got that achievement too. Use it if you have to. At least somebody got away. That's what's important. Sit down. Over there. You. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. In French. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Ooh. French is a sexy language. 
Where is the little brother? Olsen! Come here! This is literally why you need to put stuff like that away. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goat? Damn, that is crazy. Twelve, twelve a.m. <clears throat> okay, so I'm kind of controlling Fliss now. Okay, so let's assess the situation. We're completely unarmed. Kind of can take care of himself. He's got a gun. All right, shut the fuck up. Say nothing. There has to be you know some what, level of compliance what? in a situation like this. Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Say nothing. You're all in this together. I mean, she did have a fake thing. Put a cork in it. Oh! Sit still, all of you. Did I miss it? I don't know if I missed it. You, come with me. I don't know if I missed it. I've got to be ready for that shit, man. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. How bad's the storm? Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's I wonder if there's going to be Over. a way to, like, signal speed. without him knowing. Hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Say nothing. Maybe that silence might be a, might have been a clue to help, you know? Oh god, I freaking missed it. Hey, but at least the at least the person saved me though. Everything's better when we have each other. Oh damn. I looked away for 1 second. Okay, here we go. Throw out everything you can. Wait! Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. I gotta help her. Hey! Move it! Now! At least we're above uh, deck again. Yeah, that's a good question. He might drown. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move.
Where were you? Eyes on the prize. St oh my god. You are joking me. There it is. There it is. Woo, stay focused. Oh man, I was ready for some shit to go down. Oh my gosh. Everyone's still alive. <sighs> Things could have been quite different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> that was rough, yo. <laughs> that was so rough. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time, yeah, it may not be the same does next this time. Make the rest of your group more vulnerable. I dare say we'll find out. Hmm. Pretty sure we'll find out. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Sure. What will it? What will be? Will be. Forewarned is forearmed. You're going it alone. Independent. Not -uh. admirable. Possibly <laughs> foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Because the way that I see it, I don't know anyway, if now that you've reached his information significant distress, also plays a I part as well. I to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. No, I knew that. See, that's what I'm saying. I was still given some information regardless. I was still given some info regardless. Not everything is as it seems. And I knew this. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Abandon World War II freighter. That's the that's the ship from the beginning. It played a bigger role than I thought. Oh, no. That means what's on this boat is probably still here. Take the disruptor. Take the disruptor cap off. Or distributor. Is that what that said? I can't English today. Distributor. I cannot English today. Go. Is that a tribal tattoo on your calf? I was curious as to what that tattoo was from the moment I saw it. Looks pretty badass. Oh shit. Yep. Yeah, buddy. You already know this is a ghost ship. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here because that was way too much, man. Everything just happened all at once. Thankfully, like, the pictures kind of helped. You know, Julia could have had problems because she didn't decompress properly. I fucking said that. I thought, like, Conrad might have been shot, but I think he would have been if I failed that quick time. But thankfully, he got away, so he can at least go and get some authorities to come and help us. We're on the freaking ship again. 
So I already know that little fucking kid is going to be on there. So now things are going to play a much bigger... Shit's about to go down. Okay, it's about to get real. And I'm sorry, I can't wait. Dude, I'm excited. I'm immediately going to record another episode right after I stop this shit. So until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.